Hi guys, thanks for joining us on our build. Today we have beautiful weather here and we are looking forward to making a fish tank stand. We were thinking about running to Lowe's, buying some lumber, but hey, with the cost of lumber these days and the cost of gas, we looked at some items that we had in the basement that we could repurpose. Here we have some bunk bed rails for, for the frame and also an old headboard and a dining room table leaf. We think it's gonna come together nicely. Stay with us for the build. Not the leaf so uh, this is the underside of the leaf from the table that we don't use. All right. David really enjoyed his trip to the Ohio Fish Rescue. It was so cool to meet everybody there. So hopefully on the next journey I'll get to come along. That family vacation. Family it, vacation. There was a wild animal park thing out there like Lake Tobias. Oh cool. It's a drive through safari. Mm -hmm. so. That'd be awesome. Apparently you have to book ahead though. You have to drive your own car at your own risk. Figure. Um, we're just taking out all of the metal so we can cut it to length. Okay. Do you want to measure the top plate over here so you can see what we're measuring it to? I look like those are two pieces together. I don't know how sturdy that, that, those railings are going to be. Um, yeah, they're glued and screwed together. So that's 46. Okay, so that's where we want to cut this out. Nice. Nice cut, sir. Nice cut. Okay, cut number two. There Done. How's that looking, Michael? Looks good. Looking pretty good? So what we're going to do is we're going to melt this piece over here. And we're going to use these for this. The side pieces. So if you want to take the screws out of that. A bit more technical it was.
brackets will make it be stronger, Michael. Yeah, and also keep the corners pen square because they're already pre squared. Pretty genius, I say. Right on. So how many, how much does a 55 gallon tank with water weigh, Dave? I think you said it was eight pounds to the gallon. Whoa. Hmm. 550 pounds. Michael, how well did those screws go? <laughs> that screw's gonna hold right I think this is gonna hold 500 pounds easy. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. See if the tank ends up on the floor. <laughs> my goodness. Wow. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. Well, some somebody's got to. Might as well be the mother. So what went awry there, Michael? Yeah, it's life. So we found out we needed a longer screw. The ones we had, we're not going to cut it. Cut the mustard. <laughs> Teenage sons don't find mothers to be funny. I guess what is that the equivalent? Is this an equivalent of a mom joke? Is there such things as mom jokes? You got dad jokes. What about mom jokes? Usually the mom joke is they married dad. Oh, butting. One of a kind, that's for sure. As I like to say, Uniqua. It's a crystallism. So we mocked this up and decided we were not loving how it was looking. So we decided to tweak it. There goes the pop. Um, so we decided to do a pattern. What do you call that? Like an espresso, Michael? Yes. With the original color. And I'm thinking I'm liking how it's turning out. It's going to look more, I think, cohesive than just having the, the gap with the slats. So we actually had gotten a, was it like a twin bed frame, Michael? No, like a headboard that we found that we could repurpose to fill in the slots. I like it. I really do. That looks way better now that that's been filled in. That made a big difference. A big difference. We thought about just putting some unfinished plywood in there, and I thought that's not gonna not gonna look too great unless we stained it and. We're really trying to get it done today. It's the coal. Have some company coming to visit tomorrow. We'll get to have a big reveal for them. Whoop. And here comes some more pops to see what's going on. Wait, we have our helpers here, Michael. It's getting there.
that sun yeah, is yeah. hot. I fear I might get a sunburn. Great for me. Yeah. Come on, bud. Yeah. Yeah. This not Come on. Good. I think you would fit in here just nice. Oh my. <laughs> Can you get out? He's a oh my goodness, that's funny. He's, He's a nut. He's a nut. Come on. Said we're doing a family project. I'm part of this family. Let me help out. Oh, that's, that's pure gold, that is. All right, you two. Be, hey, be nice. Be nice. Benny. Now it's going to be, oh, it's his turn to go in the box. That's why they were away when the saw was being used. That's for sure. There we go. Pretty cool. So he's gonna put some braces on the side, and we'll finish these holes here. Put some, put something on the front. I'm loving it. That's cool. Really cool. We were not loving the that was unfinished, so Michael cut some um, finished pieces that he just attached on this end, making it look more uh, cohesive. Now we're going to do that on the other side. Nice. Nicely done, sir. Nicely done. Lots of traffic noise today. Everybody's going somewhere. Looking pretty cool. It's all some ingenuity, man. And so as we've went along, we've tweaked it and went, eh, not loving that. Let's try this. What about that? What about this? And I'm thinking it's coming out pretty cool. One mission completo. Complete. Looks pretty good. What we think we're going to do is put some, what do you say, Perspect Michael on yeah. top. Because he's doing a coral salt water tank. And it's a pretty nice uh, wood top. Help to keep it from um, getting kind of ratty. But I say high fives all around. I think it turned out really well for an afternoon per, uh, afternoon project. Okay, so for with the stand, we need a holder for the coral light. Um, I went to a thrift store and I saw this cool shelving unit and it was five bucks. And actually the lady who worked in the store said, I just brought that in today. I bought it and I never used it. It's brand new in the box. And I said to myself, well, that would be handy somewhere. Somewhere we could use that. Well, we just decided this would be the perfect thing to hold um, the light. So it's going to look nice. Have the white border up here. Has a white um, shelving unit. Michael's doing a great job. 
love these elephant ears over here I got for free. There's David's turtles living their best turtle life in that uh, cool new tank from the Ohio Fish Rescue. So we're putting, um, what are those called, Michael, to secure it into the wall? Wall anchors. Wall anchors. Wall plastic. There we go. Yep. So, because uh, otherwise it'll just pull out, right? Yep. And we do not want that. So I think first he used his, um... I used, I used the screws in the back of that. Yeah, but there was this measure thing called... First, use the level. Having a brain fart here. <laughs> <laughs> 